Hey everyone, Andy Trice here. And today I want to show you the unified push notification API that's part of the mobile first platform foundation server. What this allows us to do is push notifications across multiple platforms. So whether it's iOS or Android or Windows phone, or even SMS based messaging, um, using a single API. So you don't have to make calls out to Apple's specific service or Google's uh, cloud messaging service, or you know whatever platform that you're targeting. It's just one API that's consistent uh, across all platforms that are supported, and it applies to both native applications and hybrid applications that are developed using the mobile first platform. The first thing I want to show you is a sample application that's running on an iPhone 5 and a Samsung Galaxy S4. These are both native applications. So this is native iOS, this is native Android. These are not hybrid applications, but you could do the same thing using the hybrid uh, development paradigm. What I'm going to do is first connect, just by hitting the connect buttons, we're logging into the mobile first server. And once I have the identity of the user, in this case, in both instances, I'm logging in with the username mobile first, I'm going to subscribe to the push notification service. You can see here we've got feedback messages that we've successfully subscribed to both of them. Next, I'm going to use the command line tools and invoke a procedure on my mobile first platform server. I've already got it saved right here. We can see we're using the invoke command and we're calling push adapter submit notification function. And then I'm passing in an array of parameters, the first of which is the user ID that I'm sending the messages to. So I'm going to send it to my user ID mobile first and then the payload of the message. So in this case, it's just a string that says, this is a test message from the mobile first unified push notification API. If we look here on the devices, you can see that a message was received. We've got uh, the message body. This is a test message from the mobile first unified push notification API. And again, here on Android, this is a test message from the mobile first push notification API. Now I'm going to actually close both of those apps and I'm going to run this command again, but let's go ahead and change the message body. We'll put one, two, three, four, five at the end because I want to show push notifications actually showing when the app is not in the foreground. You can see we've got a notification on iOS and we have a notification on Android. You can see here, Android native push. This is a test message. If we pull down notifications tray on iOS, we can see the message there. On iOS, this uses the Apple push notification service. On Android, it uses the Google Cloud messaging service. But we don't have to know the ins and outs of each one of these individual service providers. Let's now take a look at our mobile first platform server, and you can see how things are configured. I have a native Android application called Android Native Push and a native iOS application called iOS Native Push. Both of these are active. Both of them have um, a security test, so there's user authentication, which helps us identify the user that we're going to be sending messages to. If you're not authenticating individual users, you can still send push notifications to devices because each device has an anon anonymous unique identifier that can be used for sending the push notifications. But if you are using named user authentication, you can send a push notification to all devices of a particular user. And down here at the bottom, we have the push adapter. The push adapter exposes our procedures that are used to send push notifications to the, the client applications. Now, if we go to our push notifications tab, you can see how things are currently configured on my server. We have our push event source and we have our native Android application and our native iOS applications that are targets for the push notifications. For devices, you can see that we have one subscribed user on one device for Android and one subscribed user on one device for iOS. These are the two devices that I just showed on screen. When I send a message, you can actually watch how many total messages have come through here, how many new messages how many users are subscribed, how many devices. I could have you know, 10 devices per user if I wanted to. Um, there's no limit on the number of devices per user for push notifications. Now let's take a look at the code that makes this work. In our adapter, we'll define the push event source. And this is the event source that the client applications are going to subscribe to. When we want to send a notification, you can see our submit notification function. We're currently configured to accept two parameters, a user ID, so the, the user ID, that's going to receive the push notification and the notification text. And what we'll do is use the mobile first server API to get the user notification subscriptions for our push adapter, push event source for the particular user ID. Once we have the user subscription, we can create a notification using the mobile first API. So we'll create default notification. We'll add the text to that. And then we will notify all devices of the user subscription with that notification message. 
And it's as simple as that. Within just a few lines of code, we can send a push notification to multiple platforms, regardless of whether they're native or hybrid applications. This has been just a brief overview of the unified push notification API that's part of the IBM Mobile First platform. If you'd like to learn more, follow the links in my blog or check out IBM Developer Works to get started.